what's up? John from Videofort.com bringing you part two of the basic title episodes. So let's get into it. We've got our title set up in the 3D space and we've got our particles uh, birthing and dying and doing all that good stuff. Now we just need to animate this a little bit to make it cool and awesome. So let's go ahead and go up to our layer new null object and from there we're going to click on the 3D space for the null object and we want to parent our camera to the null object. And the reason we do that is because it's easier to move this null object around in the 3D space than it is to try to maneuver the camera. It can get kind of complex and crazy and we just want to keep it a little simple. So you see if we grab onto the null object and we move it in Z space, it kind of appears as if we're moving the camera and it's because we are. It doesn't really look like the null object's moving because we're like looking through the camera as we as we do this. So, so yeah, cool stuff. Let's uh, go ahead and get started on animating this. Let's go to the beginning of our time and you notice when we do that we lose all our particles so to do, fix that let's go ahead and select our particle layer and we're going to move its time over just a little bit until we start getting a good birth cycle I think right there is pretty great and then we're going to extend out its time here so that it fills up all the way just in case we go out that far Sweet, and so now we've got that taken care of. We've got our particles nice and even. From there, let's go ahead and reselect our null object and push the letter P. That's going to bring up our position points. And we're going to set the stopwatch that we get our first keyframe. And let's go ahead and extend this keyframe out to about half a second. And I'm going to zoom in on our time a little bit so I can see it a little better. All right, so we're about half right there. And then let's go ahead and move our null object over in the X space so that our video for tutorials gets just off screen. Sweet. So now we got our first little motion here. Awesome. From there, Let's uh, maybe have the video for tutorials do something like shoot out towards us. So let's select the logo layer. And we need to press the letter P to bring up its position points. And go ahead and click on the stopwatch. And then let's move forward a little bit in time. And this should be the Z position. So let's just have it move past us. And something cool we can do, we can also move the Z object past it. And that'll kind of do a dual, like it's coming towards us and we're coming towards it, and then psh, we're past it. So now we got this little motion going on. Wah! But it brings us to nothing. So that's kind of, you know, anticlimactic. So let's go ahead and go back to here. And uh, let's, uh, go into our logo layer. And I'm going to be lazy. Instead of recreating an entire text layer, I'm just going to copy and paste this video for it. So let's go ahead and do Command-C if you're on a Mac, Control-C if you're on a PC. That'll copy our video for it text. We'll go back into our comp. And let's go ahead and do Command V or Control V if you're on a PC, and that'll paste your text. Let's just kind of move this up and over so it's out of the way. Awesome. 
Awesome, so we've got our text set up in a 3D space. Let's send this one back in Z space a little bit. And it's not moving quite quick enough for me, so if we hold down the Shift key, it'll move it back further, faster. I'll just push that back real far. And then we pass through, we get video for it. So now we can kind of bring this forward and position it better. Remember, if it's not moving good enough for you, you can just hold down the uh, shift key and that'll move it at a faster rate. Okay, so right about here seems good. And let's change this to uh, something else. Uh, I'm going to say enjoy. Awesome. So we uh, got that little action going on. But we don't want to see this text when uh, before we pass through so we don't really want to see it until about here or so probably let's keyframe back just a little bit or click back just a little bit so I'd say right about here is when we want it to start to appear so let's go one back and if we press with the enjoy text selected if we press the letter T that'll bring up the opacity and let's go ahead and turn on the opacity keyframes and bring it down to zero percent then we'll move forward one two three and bring it up to a hundred percent and that way we get this kind of cool in the distance effect and it kind of appears that looks kind of nifty I don't know play with that see what you think and another thing that we can do to kind of ease on this motion, select this keyframe here. Do F9, and that'll give us that easy ease keyframe that we uh, love so much and smooths out our motions. So let's go ahead and apply that to a couple of these keyframes to make them a little smoother. Another thing we can do is turn on motion blur for the whole whole place. That'll give us a little a little blurring. Let's uh, go ahead and set that there and hit N. That'll set our end point for the time. And uh, check this out. Really? The biggest thing with this is using your imagination. Like, you can do whatever you want. You're only limited by how you can think. So, you know, play around with it. Uh, these are just to get your ideas flowing and, you know, play with things. Uh, don't be afraid to move stuff around. Uh, play with the particles and how you want them to be. You know, we can even go in there and change the particles to a cube. And so now they're all cubes. And we can even change the colorings so that they birth at, you know, a really dark blue. And then they turn to a lighter blue or something. You know, so now instead of those, we've got, you know, cubes blowing up everywhere. Uh, you can also change the velocity, maybe turn the velocity on. You know, maybe we want these particles moving and have the gravity going. So now they're getting real crazy. Uh, 
but yeah, I mean, you can you can do lots of different things uh, with these titles and these effects. You just need to play around and you know work on those key framings and animations. Uh, it's practice, so get to it. Show us something cool. Let us know what you can do. Make sure to hit the subscribe button over to the right there. Keep coming back for more. We'll keep making them for you. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Later.